Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. This one is a little bit different. It's not a catch and cook. It's a cook and eat. Well, that's even better. We don't have to waste our time doing all that hard bit, which is the catching. Had an invitation from TA Outdoors. So, a collaboration between TA Fishing and TA Outdoors. I had to hold the umbrella to keep the rain off the fire. Mike did the cooking. Check it out. And do you know what? I really enjoyed it. This is the lunch from hell, guys. I've been invited up by T Outdoors here. What? Why did they accept it? I sure, and I'm up here at the village. You can see. I haven't been up here for ages. And I can see why, because it's raining and we're getting wet. Mike's going to do a, a little light lunch. And we thought we'd come up. It's already there. The wood's down there, but we just can't afford to light it out in the open here, you know, in case the, the fire doesn't light and the thunder's all around us, so we don't know how far we get. Tomorrow, hopefully fishing. Today, well, hopefully lunch. This, what a good job somebody with some place bought the umbrella. Look at it, guys. But we have got the fire going at long last. Just waited and used the umbrella. And I actually used the umbrella to uh, push through all the wet bracken. Because these, I've got a lovely pair of trousers. They're basically they're the first pair of trousers that my wife seems to have made out of a chamois leather and they just soak up like you wouldn't believe. So don't buy these for going outdoors. But the fire's going. Mike's over there filming his food prep. Going to be a surprise, just a secret. It's not going to be spag bowl as I understand it. Traditional spag bowl, my secret recipe. I haven't told him about that yet. The old trousers could combust. What weather. She's standing in the fire, guys, <laughs> trying to drown off, dry off. And my my trousers <laughs> are either about to combust or they're steaming. <laughs> I'm steaming my trousers dry. I'm that wet. My my shoes are smouldering as well. I never thought I'd be asked to do umbrella duty. Well, the best thing we got that saved us is not only the umbrella but these, a pair of bellows. So we managed to get that fire back up again. So we definitely, hopefully, can have enough embers to cook there. Are umbrellas combustible? <laughs> it's smoky. Is it? It could be evaporating. Yeah, I think it's a steam, hopefully. Well, we're here, all the other buildings are really good. You know, they've been here a while now. Biggest one was the building we did was that over the Saxon house with the thatch on it. We were just saying how the thatch water runs off it really well. And then back over there, the famous, world famous pallet cabin. Six years up the road and still going. If you want to see those builds, they're on Mike's channel TA Outdoors. I know a lot of you guys go across and see what else he's up to. I'm intrigued as to what I'm going to eat. I don't think it's going to be sausage, beans and chips. No. And the sun that's going on here looks like the bears have been in there. The bears do a lot of cooking as well. They've ripped all the wood out to get the dry wood at the bottom. Here's the pallet cabin, people. Absolutely nothing. Well, I haven't got my torch to show you in here, but nothing wrong with it. Bone dry in here. The good old G stove. We nearly cooked in here, but Mike wanted to do for his programme outside cooking. I'm just up here for some food, I just want something to eat. I've had a packet of crisps, that's all I've had. But hopefully, let's go and see, he's got the frying pan out. Let's see what he's got going on there. Still good fun getting outside, wet or otherwise. Listen, it's got to be better than inside, isn't it? That looks like a cast iron one to me. Yeah, yeah, I can stand here with this. Yeah, fine. It only needs to get brown.
finally through there and up there we might get lucky the sun has come out signs of some of these trees in there I wonder often wonder how nothing like the giant redwoods of Canada but look at the size of that one that's got to be impressive hasn't it because if it falls over here So my readers is nearly done there. Now, just explain to the folks at home who are like me, gagging and starving, what is it we're going to be dining on? Uh, it's just an old camp recipe that I've cooked for a while now. I cook it at home as well. It's kind of like a bre really a breakfast dish, but just some pancetta to begin with, um, which is kind of nice and fatty, so you can cook with the fats. Fry that up, take that out, then put in some onion and just cook it till it goes a little bit translucent take that out put it with the pancetta on a side plate then you use the fat again or a bit of oil if you want to add it and cook the sweet potato that takes a while usually about 10 to 15 minutes because it's thicker chunks and it's potato so it's quite dense and then once that's cooked you add the pancetta back in you add the um, onion back in and then you add some apple to sweeten the dish give it a bit of a contrast and some salt and pepper and also some spinach for those greens and then some egg at the end just pop makes three holes put the eggs in and the cast iron by that point is so hot that it cooks the eggs in like two minutes they're cooked already yeah you did something about putting the uh, hot coals around the edge of the pan yeah like here this 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 stick was wasted by the edge of the fire but that's actually really hot in the middle there so if you touch it against the cast iron that's going to conduct that all that heat it's going to go conduction works by conduction so suck in that heat into the cast iron and keep it warm but we're ready now, I think, Dad. Sounds good. It's much better than the spag bowl and, and ravioli out of a tin that I eat. I'm sure it's far healthier. I won't film my camera serving Because the egg's going to be impossible. Bushcraft cuisine serving, people. Myself, I'm actually a sort of potato man. I don't know. Guys out there, tell us, what are you... What, what is your sort of... Your base, your base that you like in a meal? I mean, I can eat potatoes forever. Fried, boiled, mashed, sautéed, You do chips. like potatoes, don't you? Yeah, potatoes, carrots, peas, spinach I like. That's I do like spinach. A lot of people don't know. Kids don't like spinach. Spinach. Da -da 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 -da. Anybody remember Popeye? Do they remember Popeye, the sailor man? Listen, if it's good enough for Popeye, it's good enough for me. That looks all right, though. Do you want two eggs? No, one egg for me. That's quite a lot for me. I'm on a diet. Try it. He's missed the best of it, but well, he has beaten me. Has beaten me. I had to go and get the camera, <laughs> but it's really good, isn't it? It's been really good. Yes, it's, it's come out well. It was yeah. Cooked. Well, that's all I've got left of it. But it's a real good mix-up. So I know all you fishermen out there, you do overnighters. One guy did tell us. No, two guys told me separately. Try. This is not quite the same cuisine as yours. This is fisherman speaking now. <laughs> um, a tin of those boiled potatoes, new potatoes, and put them in with a can of Irish stew and cook the two together. That's a great shout. You know, in and the they tin. So like, yeah, two, yeah, just tin, it's just tin. Yeah. But you know, put them in a saucepan. But just instead of doing two saucepans, just bung them all in one saucepan and cook the potatoes with the Irish stew. It's a real space filler. Get you through the night when you're fishing. But listen, this one's good. But I wouldn't want to be waiting for a fishing bite. It might take us about an hour and a half to do it. <laughs> It doesn't normally. It's, in terms of actual cooking time, it's about 15 minutes. It's just we had to get the, the fire, fire. That's the heat, at home, yeah, sort of, yeah. You know, to get the fire going, maintain the fire. Obviously, chopping. It's funny you see all these recipe books and stuff, and they always say, "Oh yeah, cook for 15 minutes." Yeah, but the prep time is about 25 to 30 minutes of cutting up the vegetables. Yeah, that's it. They Guys, don't all that. It's like super quick meal, but it's not because you've got to prep all the vegetables with it. Super quick is a ring pull for Uncle Graham. <laughs> I survived the lunch from hell. I'm going to make tracks back because I'm actually waiting for this. Now the rain stopped, painting the house. But I had a really good bushcraft uh, bit of grub there. And it's a bit of fun. And that's at the end of the day, I'm out with Mike, number one son. Well, I've got a number two son that I know of. Anybody out there, is there a number two son out that I don't know about? So it's nice to get out, isn't it? it we, is. haven't, we haven't been out for a while. Ages, ages we haven't been out, yeah. I'd say 
I've not been up here for... When did you last come here? Christmas. Probably when winter. We were doing winter this, time. When well, we were building this When we built this one, yeah. Yeah. We Found did. only one small leak in it, but other than that, thank goodness we built it, because if yeah. you look down there, it's bone dry. Yeah, it did help. It's really good. So Mike's going to crack on and do his bushcraft, whatever he's going to do. I'm going to go back, and if the walls are dry, finish putting some paint on the house, masonry paint. We'll see you guys in the next fishing film. And if you want to check out what Mike's doing, look out TA Outdoors on his channel and see what's going on there. I was going to say, see what's cooking, but we just done that one. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, guys. See you soon. I really enjoyed that little bit of cooking. On the way down, the pancetta was really tasty, but I might not partake of the pancetta again. There's a lot of... I could have uh, actually joined a brass band together there. And worse, I'm fishing tomorrow, overnight, I'll be, oh no, in a sleeping bag. No pancetta for me then. Thanks for watching, guys. Bit of fun. Check out Mike's recipe. You could also do that at home in your kitchen. We'll see you next time. I'll let you know how I get on with this fishing trip.